Hey you guys, so today I'm actually sitting on the floor instead of my beanbag chair because my beanbag chair is on my bed and I don't feel like getting it. But you probably can't even tell except for the fact that there's no pink blob behind me that I'm sitting on, so it's all good. The floor is surprisingly comfortable because of my carpet. Anywho, so um, I am planning on uploading a July TBR soon, maybe. I don't really know if it's necessary right this month. I'm kind of just going with the flow um, with what I want to read. I'm just reading whatever I want to read. I'm not really going with a specific pile of books. But this, this is a TBR I'm excited for. And if you can't already guess what it is, it is the Booktubeathon TBR. Yes, I am so excited. I have been anticipating this booktubeathon since it was announced a really long time ago. I am just really excited to participate again. I participated last summer. I also participated in the Christmas booktubeathon. I love the booktubeathon. It's my favorite readathon ever that has ever been invented. I have seven books here and some of them are pretty short so I'm thinking that I might be able to read a little bit more than that and if I do I will I have some books in mind but I'm not going to mention them here because let's let's see if I can get through these first. Um, each book that I have chosen corresponds with a certain challenge we're supposed to do so I'm excited to show them to you. The first challenge is to read a book with pictures and the book I chose for that is Chasing Vermeer by Blue Balliet and it's illustrated by Brett Helquist and I hauled this in my very very first haul on this channel so we're finally getting to it and it has illustrations let me find an example like that this completes that challenge no idea what it's about but I'm excited to read it because I think it'll be a very quick read and I'm excited to see how the illustrations add to the story the next challenge is to start and finish a series and the series I chose for that is a trilogy and it is the Ruby Red trilogy so I'll be reading Ruby Red Sapphire Blue and Emerald Green and Ruby Red actually ties into challenge number three which is read a book with red on the cover. Ruby Red, the word red, not there, there, the word red and the cover is red. So I'll be completing two challenges with this. I am so excited, you guys know I have been anticipating reading these for a while. I know that people have been saying that it isn't the best series after all of the hype, but I don't really let hype influence my end decision about a book. So I'm still excited for that series. I'm pumped. The next challenge is read a book someone else picks out for you. And I brought my mom into my room and I said look at my bookshelf and the, the what you see behind me is smaller than my actual bookshelf. My bookshelf is all up here and then I have a bookshelf to the side. So anyways I told her to look and she picked The Daughters Break the Rules by Joanna Philbin. And this is the sequel to The Daughters which I recommended recently in my summer recommendations video. And I love The Daughters. I started this once and I wasn't as into it as I was in the first book, so I put it down. But I am excited to get through this. It should be a very quick read. It's a contemporary. I loved the first book, so I'm very, very excited to continue on with this series. The next challenge is to read a book from the genre you have read the least of this year. And I, I was gonna cheat. I was. I will admit it. And I was going to say that I hadn't read a lot of contemporary this year and that I wanted to read more so I was going to read a contemporary novel but that would be a lie because recently I have been reading more contemporary because that was my goal for this summer. So I decided not to cheat and I remember that nonfiction is a genre I don't read a lot and I want to read more of. I did read a nonfiction book earlier this year but it's still the genre I read, have read least of and I decided to read Ingenious by Tina Selig. You can see that I actually got it signed. Um, she was there, she was giving a talk at this um, Authors and Ideas Festival I went to and it's a crash course on creativity so that should be very interesting. It's a very very short book so I should get th through this very quickly and I think it'll be very very interesting. And then the last well, second to last challenge is to read a book to movie adaptation. And this is a movie I have seen a bajillion times. I have seen a modern day adaptation on YouTube that you probably all 
have seen or heard about, which is called the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. And I've just, I, I've seen the BBC miniseries. I am obsessed with Pride and Prejudice, and I'm sure that it's going to become my favorite classic. I just need to read it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read this book. I love the story. I have read modern day adaptions in book form. I have, as I said before, like seen every version of it possible. And if you think I haven't, please send me links to more versions that I can see because I just love this story so much. And so I am excited to finally read this because I need to. I, I can't call myself a Pride and Prejudice fan if I haven't read the book because that's just ridiculous. So I need to read it. And with that, I have completed challenge number seven, which is read seven books. I've picked seven books. Let's see if I can read all of them. These are all the books I plan on reading. I think that it will be a very, very successful bookubathon. Now it's time for my random fact. My random fact for today is that I am now officially 16 and a half because my half birthday is on July 4th and... I know people don't celebrate their half birthdays very much. It's so much fun. And it's on 4th of July, so there are fireworks. So that was my random fact for today. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.